Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Natasha Vilaseca and I speak about everything LinkedIn lead generation related. In today's video, we're gonna be going over an exciting topic, which is the A to Z playbook of how you can generate leads on LinkedIn in 2024. So if you feel like you've been exposed to all of this information and you just need like a simple step-by-step -step A to Z of like, tell me which things are important for me to focus on, this is the video for you, so grab something to take notes with and let's get started. First up, which I speak about all the time, is optimizing your LinkedIn profile. This is your landing page. It is your first impression. It is your biggest chance to get people to see you for the first time and think, I wanna do business with this person. So focus on your profile. Think about the three different components on your profile. You've got the top with your profile photo, the banner, the visual elements, which are the first things people are gonna look at. Then we have the mid section with your about section, which should be keyword heavy to improve your SEO ranking within LinkedIn. And then we have the section at the bottom, which is your recommendations and your work experience. This is all social proof. It makes you look credible and it also makes you look like you know what you're talking about and not only do you know what you're talking about but there's lots of other people who are also vouching for your expertise as well number two is about growing your network do not go for the spam approach actually build your network with relevant people that are going to help you in the long run so instead of connecting with 3,000 randoms use your 100 connection request limit a week to reach out to 20 people a day monday to friday personalize your requests and target it towards people who are industry leaders, um, colleagues, influencers, anybody who is pioneering in your space or like a thought leader, somebody who's gonna be adding relevant value and content to your main feed. Focus on those people and building relationships with the right people who are gonna open doors and unlock opportunities for you, maybe at this, this time or farther down the line. Now, if you're somebody who works in marketing or sales, or you're running either of those teams, being able to get good alignment and communication across marketing and sales is one of the most important things, which is gonna make sure that your prospects and your customers have a seamless buyer and onboarding journey with your company. HubSpot has bought us another free guide titled Three Pillars for Creating Amazing B2B Buyer Experiences. It's completely free, so all you need to do is click on the link to download it, add it to your desktop, save it in a folder to go back to it at any point when you need to. The guide goes over the strategies that you can implement to build loyal relationships that stand the test of time. And even if you're not somebody who is running these two teams and you're not in an operations role, it's still very important for you to know as a sales rep or somebody in marketing, how the customer goes through this journey and what you can do in your position to ensure that you remove any roadblocks that maybe they have in their mind that you can't see, which is gonna make your life easier when it comes to selling and putting your product or service in front of them. My favorite part about this guide is how it gives you a really like simple step-by-step -step approach, which helps you look at marketing and sales as one and working together instead of two separate teams. Thank you HubSpot for sponsoring this video and make sure that you click on the link in the description to download the free guide before you exit and go and do anything else. Moving on to number three is content. Creating content, not just consistently, but also to a high quality. Start out by trying to put out three high quality posts a week. Use a content planner if you have one. If you don't, head over to HubSpot's channel, the marketing channel. I actually did a video with them where they created a content planner specifically for that video. So go and check that out as well. Um, and with content, you wanna mix it up, like whether it's gonna be industry insights, long form text, short form text, short or long form video, articles, images with captions, quotes. Try and mix up the content that you post every week when you first get started so you can see what kind of content your audience is engaging with the most and then you can double down on that. Number four is lead and account lists. If you don't have any paid subscriptions, if you don't have Sales Navigator, you can still do that on the free version of LinkedIn. And without having lead lists and account lists, how are you going to farm prospects every day? How are you gonna know who your ideal prospects are? You don't wanna be doing new searches every single day. So make sure that once you've identified your ideal target persona, you apply that information to build a search, identify a list of people or companies that you want to get in front of, and start systematically working through that list every day, 
connecting with decision makers, gathering information, seeing what content they're posting, connecting with people, all of those things to have as many touch points as possible to hopefully become top of mind in their eyes. Number five are connection requests. Make sure that you add a personalized note. It doesn't take much time and like the more you practice, the easier it will become. You have a limit of 100 connection requests per week. So use 20 per day, five times a week, and that's still gonna take you like 20 minutes. I would try and put aside 30 minutes a day for your LinkedIn lead generation, at least. If you have more time, obviously the more time the better, but make sure that you go through, send personalized connection requests, go and have other touch points with these people if you think they're gonna be harder to get in front of. So as an example, if I'm trying to connect with somebody who has a lot of followers or they're a big like thought leader in the industry, I'm gonna go and engage with their content days or weeks before I even send a connection request. And sometimes they end up sending me one because they're like, this person has just been leaving valuable comments, leaving compliments on their posts, like engaging with me. And they're also relevant to my industry. I'm gonna connect with them. Um, so actually think about building genuine relationships instead of just trying to click send connection request to 100 people and hoping that the numbers will just give you like 10% conversion. Like there's, it's just no point. People can tell when you're genuine and when you're not. Um, so adopt a social selling approach instead of just like cold knocking on people's profile doors. Number six, and this is the final point, is staying consistent and tracking your data. So if you put in lots of effort to LinkedIn for one week, it doesn't really matter. It would be better to give it 70% consistently for a year and then look at whether you're getting the results that you want for it to be worth it for you to continue than not adopting that approach. Track how well your content does, track how many of your connection requests are getting accepted, collect all of that data and adopt a data-driven approach to your LinkedIn strategy. And that is gonna be what helps you actually figure out the best use of your time, what works, what doesn't work, and whether LinkedIn is worth it for you. Nine times out of 10, if you're in B2B, it will be. Um, but it's just to have those numbers there and to have the confidence that you're moving in the right direction. Thank you for watching. As always, if you found this video helpful, leave it with a thumbs up and comment any questions that you have. Final reminder and the most important thing to do is to click on the link in the description, download the resource and actually use it. Like go through it, read it, complete it and use it to apply into your real world application of this strategy. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.